Hi. We are. <laughs> so, for a long time, I've... Does that matter? No. No, I guess not. I guess not. But... For a long time, I've practiced the vibration that I'm about to demonstrate for you here, but... Well, that's a good thing, because I've pretty much lived easy, and... A few years ago, my wife introduced me to your teaching. Before you go further, we just yeah. want to play with you just a little bit sure. here. Because we want you to feel that everything that you've ever lived is funneled to right where you are now. And the only thing that matters is that you're standing now is the juncture between you, what you're realizing, and everything that you have vibrationally become. And of course, there's nothing wrong with what you just said. Except for a long time, gets you looking back at all of that, which is far less powerful than right here and now. So what we really want to say to all of you, not just in a conversation like this, certainly not in a conversation like this, because we have all the time in the world, but we have all the timelessness <laughs> in the world, but get to the point. <laughs> In other words, get to the point because you're on the point. You're on the point that we want you to understand what the point is. This is the juncture where you meet the energy that creates worlds. This is the juncture where you are or are not a vibrational match to everything in your vortex. So let your pointed conversations be about understanding that juncture and then utilizing it to your most effectiveness, you see. So words like, oh, Esther uses a common phrase. She'll say, well, a hundred years ago, well, she doesn't mean that, but it's just her way of saying so long ago that I can't even remember the details of it. Well, we say to her, it's now, everything's now, 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 now. So what would you like to talk about now? <laughs> we all get it that sure. you just didn't think of it just now that it's been a long time coming to this. It's been a long time coming to this, but right now, right now. <laughs> When other people around me are clearly out, clearly off the road, clearly out of alignment. In your now? In my now. And in your now point of attraction. So they're in your experience because law of attraction made a terrible mistake? No, no, more so because. You've rendezvoused with out of alignment people. Correct. Because there's an active vibration within you that has awareness of out of alignment people. So are we going to talk about the people or you? I guess about me. Yeah. <laughs> so. Because I guess I want them to follow me. I want them to join me. They already like... did. <laughs> True enough. They already did. Oh, you're saying you want to take them someplace else. Correct. Then go someplace else. Okay. Did you get that? Because it's really easy to evaluate the conditions that are manifesting and think that now so here we are in this place that we really don't want to be with momentum and we want to head off in a different direction well you're not going to do that you're not going to do that the train's already going down the track and it's going to go where it's going so you're going to start over the next day so what is the emotion that you are looking for in these relationships with these others what's the somewhere else you want to go in emotional terms Ease. Want to go to alignment, yeah. want to go to ease, want to go to fun. Yeah. Fun. So you like fun with others? Yeah. Clarity and fun all mixed together. You like really smart, funny, intelligent, clear minded others to play with? Yes. Yeah. So go there. Think about how that feels. Think about how that feels. Think about it when you first wake up in the morning. Think about how that feels. Get some momentum going on that for two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or 30 days. Get some momentum going about that and then watch the way you begin realizing entirely different scenarios because your point of attraction shifted and so therefore what you attracted shifted. That's awesome. <laughs> so now here's something else and this is really good. You're really, really going to like this. So as you got that just now, you all felt it in one way or another. And it sort of gave you a sense of here I am the center of my universe and I'm attracting from the environment around me, these kinds of people, clear minded, fun, inspired, creative, happy, expansive others. Ooh, doesn't that feel like a good crowd? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs>
so it feels interesting that here I am a person and I've attracted a person a person a person a person a person and I got a good party going on what we would like you to realize is that there's a potential party in everybody you know so when you get there then you attract it from that one and that one in other words you're not looking for a whole different group of people you're not reaching into the universe and selectively sifting through people to bring different people to you you are tuning yourself to the attraction of the best of all of them and we want you to give yourself credit for who you've already assembled because you haven't been making mistakes nothing's going wrong you're in the process of molding this into place and there is so much positive momentum in every single relationship you have that with a little tuning you can tune it into something that will be really delightful for both of you you see but the key is you got to stop asking them to make the changes you got to make them you got to find the emotional change in yourself and some of them they will come with you they'll come with you some of them will bounce off and go somewhere else because it's just too big of a gap but most of the people you know will come with you most will because you've already vetted them they came to you you've been a positive attractor for a long time every one of you has been a positive attractor for a long time you're just freaking out in the specifics of it do you see what we're getting at yeah. you're freaking out in the manifestational phases of it because you have a misunderstanding of how this works so you've been attracting all of these wonderful people around you and then you say oh these aren't the scenarios that I want and then you get really specific about the stuff you don't want and you put your umbrella up and even though they're there ready to deliver to you the love and the clarity that you want because their inner beings are there with them wanting to give you the part of them that you most want you don't let it in because you are predisposed to who they are Ooh, do you know how many opinions or attitudes you have about people around you that do not then let them give who they really are and what you really want from them to you because your perspective of who they are is already so cemented in in terms of your vibrational practice that even though all of them wants to give you something different you don't let that part in you only let the parts in that you've practiced people will rise or lower to your expectations 100% of the time that's how powerful you are don't you love knowing that <laughs> so you say to your friend that you're mad at you know I've really turned you into a bitch <laughs> <laughs> I remember when what I attracted from you was so sweet but not anymore not anymore and I intend to do something about that. Good? Good. Really good. Thank you. Really good. Yeah.